Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to create this screen from a UI kit which UI8 recently launched and it's called Fleet. Now I'm going to leave the link in the description if you want to check out the entire UI kit. And I also want to remind you that I recently launched a free course on how to get started in UI UX, where I'm basically teaching all the basics that I learned over the past decade working as a UI UX designer and uh, essentially it's uh, going to enable you to have all the essential knowledge in order to get started in this field. So if you're interested, feel free to check it out. But now without further ado, let's jump right into the video. All right, so we're back in Figma and uh, the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to create uh, a frame, which is going to be the desktop 1440 pixel of width. Now let's double click on this frame, rename it to one. And at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to start creating the top level menu. Now let's uh, use the text tool to create uh, the logo. And we're going to use uh, Lato, which is a free Google web font, which uh, you can download uh, by simply uh, going on Google and searching for Lato. You're going to find it right away. So as you can see, we have uh, our basic logo. Let's make it a little bit bigger and uh, we're going to use some guidelines in just a moment. Just before we do that, uh, let's create a duplicate of this and uh, we're going to write travelers and let's make it uh, smaller in a, a font size or font weight. And uh, what we're gonna do next before we continue is we're going to select the entire frame going to use a layout grid let's make it columns and let's use 12 columns since it's uh, quite common especially if you used uh, bootstrap in the past or some other frameworks let's use a margin of uh, let's create a margin of 65 we're going to change uh, the layout grid uh, color of these columns and uh, we're going to start adding uh, the other menu items we're going to add them uh, over here we're going to have a few of these so I use the shift plus option and then command in order to create a duplicate and uh, let's write uh, support language and list uh, your property all right Let's um, go on Nucleo Icons, which is a free icon management software. And we're going to, to select the world. And at this point, we just grab one of these elements. We're also going to add uh, a notifications panel. So let's go ahead uh, and we need to find uh, something uh, well even this bell icon would work all right so let's unframe these and we're going to bring this icon right here next to the language and uh, we are going uh, to bring this icon here let's group it together i'm going to make it a little bit bigger And bring it here and now let's make it a little bit lighter all right so at this point I'm going to add a rectangle right here bring it below and make sure that it's in line I'm going to round up element at the stroke make it white and the stroke is going to have same color as this maybe a little bit lighter let's do it 1.5 all right let's make a novel And let's add uh, 
this uh, color. Oh, actually, let's make it green just to change things up uh, a little bit. All right. So this one's going to be an auto layout. And now let's uh, add a oval. Oops, not on top of it. Let's bring it over here. This is going to be the profile picture. All right. At this point, let's go under plugins, content reel. And uh, what we're going to do is going to add an image. Hmm. Let's see, use this uh, image right here. And we are good to go. All right. Now at this point, um, what we need uh, is uh, a divider line over here. I'm going to make it quite a bit lighter. Let's bring it here as well. And now let's create uh, the basic structure for both the image and the uh, the menu element, which is going to be on top of the image. Let's add a roundedness to this whole section. And we're going to duplicate this, make it a little bit smaller. Bring it over here. Let's make it white. We're going to add uh, a drop shadow so that we can uh, visually differentiate uh, this element from the one below. I'm going to make it lighter. As you can see, we have this nice uh, effect uh, going on. All right, At this point, I'm just going to keep this uh, as a placeholder for the time being. And I'm simply going to lock both of these. And I'm going to start adding uh, the other elements. So let's create a line over here. Let's bring it all the way down. And uh, I'm going to basically make this lighter. We're going to add this over here on the top. Let's write in uh, the different uh, menu items. So I'm actually going to just bring it bit more on the right just to give it some padding here we're going to write flights cars and things to do all right let's distribute horizontally and uh, let's uh, use uh, a tint which is more heading towards the gray for this one and let's uh, use a great tint for this one as well all right so far so good Add a bit of uh, actually, let's make it a, a little bit darker. And now, what we're gonna do is we're going to duplicate these elements, duplicate one more time. I'm going to have a bigger text. Where are you going? And we're going to add uh, also the other elements in just a moment. So let's add the location, which is going to be 
Actually, let's let's select the outline for all of these. And uh, we're going to have, uh, uh, yeah, let's do this one here. And then we'll need the calendar. And also a user. All right, let's select all of these. Let's unframe them. Let's select the constraint proportions and uh, let's make them bigger. Not that big though, but we're going to, yeah, probably have uh, them around this size. Let's do 1.5, they're more visible, maybe even two. Yeah, it's already looking better. And let's uh, change uh, their colors. Let's fix them up. And uh, this is already looking uh, pretty good. All right, let's uh, duplicate this. It's going to be check in. Add date. We're going to group it all together. I'm going to add a checkout. And let's add more of these for travelers. This one's going to be at guest. All right. So this is working uh, well altogether, and uh, now let's uh, select, uh, let's bring this one more on the left, let's select all of these together, distribute uh, horizontal spacing, and I'm going to make this uh, a ellipse, which is going to be completely blue, just like that, maybe a little bit darker. Let's go back to Nucleo icons. I'm going to add a search icon. And that will do. For whatever reason, this one is uh, has this, this weird element. Uh, let's just, let's just go for another one. was the same. <laughs> Let's try this one. <clears throat> and this one works. Let's make it white. Let's increase the size of this icon quite a bit. And uh, this uh, is uh, working well. Now let's duplicate this element and uh, I'm going to write in uh, this headline let's make it black let's copy this one here we're going to make it quite a bit bigger Let's increase the size of this one too. Start your search. Okay, was the reason why the auto layout wasn't working. Now it's working. So because we didn't have the auto width turned on. So, all right, everything is pretty much <clears throat> going well. Let's make this one lighter. 
let's bring this one up. And now we need to search for some uh, cool images. Oops. Let's center this vertically in here. And we're going to go ahead and uh, add the uh, um, unsplash to the mix. So we're going to go over here and search for nature. And uh, what we can do is just try a bunch. So one thing that I usually uh, like to do is to just test uh, a few and like put them side by side. So for example, what we can do here is just duplicate this just a few times, duplicate it once more. And now we can uh, literally go ahead and try like different, uh, different ones and we can change the text of course. Um, we can also add uh, an overlay to these uh, if they're not uh, um, like literally if they're not, oops, let me undo that. This one's looking pretty interesting. Um, yeah, let's, let's try to find a bunch and then we can uh, mess around with the overlays. This one's more oriented towards nature. The composition works fantastic, I think, but it's not really in theme with the overall objective, I would say, of the website. Maybe, maybe if uh, since we have things to do, it can be a part of uh, the experience. And so, why is this one not, uh, not working over here? Just need to try, try a bunch. Hmm. For some reason, this layer is not cooperating. Well, stuff that happens. I guess we need to just undo the, or actually it was just the these other ones that weren't uh, really working. Mm -hmm. Maybe this one could be interesting. So we're looking for an image which is balanced overall, which is in line with what the requirements uh, are from a usability perspective, from a user experience perspective, and uh, also usability perspective. But primarily, we're, we're, we're trying to sell them the in the dream, like you could be here by using this platform. You could uh, be booking uh, an amazing uh, location uh, today or right in this moment. So it needs to be interesting, it needs to be enticing and um, yeah, just make the user dream really. So I think we do have uh, quite a bit of interesting solutions at the moment uh, and uh, overall, uh, and overall we have uh, quite a few interesting samples. So this is pretty much it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.